Yes. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I know. Soon it goes to this. Hey, okay. that hurts. Don't do that. That hurts. <laughs> no. We can't hear you, Roxy. <laughs> Here we go. We're on now. Got to unmute first, guys. <laughs> I've muted everyone um, just so we can keep the channels kind of clear because there's a few people coming in. But hello, hello. There's a few people that are here that... It's great to see your faces. So thank you so much for hearing the call and coming through today. We're just going to wait a moment while um, a few more people are coming through and in. There's a few Egypt friends here. Hello, the crew from Egypt and our Galactic Ambassadors. There's a few people from Instagram that we've invited onto the call today as well, which is beautiful. Thank you for coming. I'm recording it so um, everyone can have the replay. If you wanted to send it to someone to join in this light mission, that would be amazing and sharing it around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> and we're live on Instagram as well. Multitasking at its best. <laughs> We've got to get the message out. Today is the day. And guys, thank you for being here. Um, you know, guys, it's it's moments like this. It's times like this on the planet when the light workers step up. We often talk about how we're waiting for something. We're waiting for how for a way in which we can be working towards fulfilling some sort of mission, some sort of larger purpose. It's like I felt like I came in here to do more, not just you know, like groceries and uh, you know, to deal with day to day life, three D stuff. Well. This is a real opportunity for us to, you know, really use all of the amazing abilities, the sensitivity, the awareness that we've been working on for many of you for many, many years, working on the awareness, the spiritual cleansing, the balancing of yourself between the light and the dark and recognizing the dark, we're choosing to embrace the light and as you've moved into higher vibrational expressions of yourself, you've been helping to prepare yourself for moments like this, where we can project what we are embodying to the galactic, to the planet, and to really help to support the collective consciousness at this time. I mean, more than ever, the sting of duality is being shown to us through digital mediums all, all over the place. And we are getting to see glimpses of humanity at its worst, but we're also got the opportunity to show what humanity can also do through the accessing of love and light and higher frequency energies. So thank you all for being here. It's, it's truly uh, a great honor to be guiding you through this. And, you know, Roxy and I just had a moment today before we were coming on board, just talking about how so much of what we're going to be giving out today is truly you giving of yourselves, your essence. You know, we can't give away what we don't have. So if you don't have peace, compassion, empathy, love, 
understanding from within your heart, then it's not easy to be able to give that to someone else. And of course, you've come in here in the planet at this time for many of us to experience one of those most challenging of life lessons. And it is this challenge of unconditional love. And so many of you I know have experienced the sting of the opposite of unconditional love through your soul contract. You have had conditional love. You have felt not special, overlooked, unimportant. There have been, there's been collusion and all sorts of things through your life story that you've learned to address and become aware of and feel into. Perhaps some of you are at the stage of embracing it. Perhaps even some of you are there to realize that you put it there yourself in order to grow as a soul. Depends where you're at, but it's there, right? And you kind of smile at some point and you kind of thank the infinite creator for all of this and what we're experiencing even right now. So Roxy's going to take us through just some reflections of our own before we, as more and more people flow in, get ready for this uh, this beautiful global meditation today. Yeah, I guess the reflection for us, you know, you really do feel it deep in your heart with what's going on on the planet. And, you know, our brother being on the ground at this time is not a coincidence. Everything's playing out for a reason. And I guess it really did touch us what's happening over in the Middle East at the moment and the division. And like Pete said, we've all kind of trained for the great awakening. And recently, um, Pete and I and a few other um, members of our Galactic Ambassadors group, they've been feeling like something's coming and something coming meaning like something like bigger than we, like we don't know. And you don't really like to plant those seeds for future timelines, but this feeling of something big happening a big big shift maybe it was a solar flare maybe it was you know earthquakes or shifts in the planet but I feel like this is what it was that feeling that perhaps this is the shift that humanity is needing right now and not to like throw in our energy and go down into the depths of it too deeply, um, but to look at the overarching bigger picture here that with this comes unity. With this big global purge that is occurring on the planet right now and our hearts go out to this and it's sad to see so much division and hatred towards another human, towards yourself right? That's essentially what these beings are, are playing out. They're hating themselves by hurting another. And, and, and that's sad to see, but it's also a global purge and a reality that we're facing. We have to address and bring awareness to, we can't just hide and pretend it's not happening because awareness is shining the light on that shadow. So being brave and, and honoring all of the training that you've done to this point, you've had many incarnations learning all of these different vibrations. You've experienced all of the different flavors of these experiences and feelings and emotions. And now is the time to end the cycle, which is a, a word that's been coming to us this morning, and, and, and heal from that and grow back into high states of consciousness back into Atlantean vibrations, which we've all experienced Lemurian and that's beautiful. So when we look at this, look at it and smile. It's it's change, it shifts, it's healthy. We have to purge like the dark night of the soul. When we go through our dark night of the soul, I went through another mini dark night of the soul on the weekend, a purge, hid myself away in, a, in the bedroom for three or four hours, laboring this uncomfort, discomfort. And this discomfort, there becomes unity and love and deep knowingness and the end of that cycle begins and the new chapter begins there. The new transformation, the new version of humanity as a whole, a collective begins. So looking at this, um, I guess, with love and knowingness and holding and anchoring stable because you're ready for this. All of us light workers went first. Some of us are 
were wondering why no one else was waking up. It's like we felt like the only ones, right? And it's for a reason because your soul activated at the perfect divine time because that was contracted before incarnating. And now you're big and you're courageous and you're brave. You stand with strength because you've emptied out some of that junk in the tank. And you're in your heart space now, feeling compassion. You can hold an anchor stable. You know, four years ago, we weren't ready for this. <laughs> oh, some of us were wearing masks in the shops still. You know, I was oh, in, in scarcity in the supermarket, wondering if there's going to be enough food for my family. That's where I was at. I'm not going to deny that. That's what I went through. I traveled through these emotions. Now I feel strong and empowered because of the inner work that we've all done together. So now is the time to hold stable, anchor in. And I guess today showing up for this is a beautiful sign of all of your journeys. And, and we congratulate you and, con and congratulate you and congratulate you on all of these layers that you've emptied out. Because what you're doing is having a massive impact on the world. This frequency, it's like one active soul. It's like a ripple effect for a thousand. So it's like joining the dots. There was this activation in the ship the other day, and I thought it was very beautiful. They were joining the dots between a group of us. And they said to us that this frequency, this code, will then translate over to another person. Every single person that we touch when we went back down to the earth, it would have a domino effect through the hearts of many. And you're all over the world. So when we do do this gathering, it's powerful and potent. And you should be very proud of where you are at in your ascension. And to look at this with love and unity that we're coming together and it's all going to be wonderful and beautiful and exciting. <laughs> There's lots of, to look forward to. Yeah. So we're going to be guiding you through um, the exercise today. And I know some of you are, are new to doing exercises with us online, but very much it starts with getting ourselves right first. You know, that point that I touched on earlier, you can't give away what you don't have. So you've got to feel yourself in a state of peace and love and compassion, empathy, understanding before you can hope to project that out onto the global collective consciousness. And before you get yourself into that state, you might at the moment be in a state of anger or fear or concern or worry as to where this all might go or what it might escalate to. And we need to clear that out. Now, some of it might be linked to you now and in this lifetime, but for a lot of us, it's linked to perhaps past lifetimes and probably a lot of us were around and doing work very similar to this at the time of Atlantis when the energies of the masculine were flexing and churning as they are right now on the planet again. That time of the masculine being dominant and not wanting to surrender to the divine feminine, not wanting to move back into harmony. However, we know that this is necessary for humanity move, to move into the golden age. We need to learn to embrace that, that softer side. So a lot of you have really been prepped for this and... Um, it's going to be an amazing activation. I've got chills I've got talking chill. to you all, and I see many of you all over the world. Um, I know I can't say every single country, but I know that they are. There's, there's lots of different countries represented here around the world. That's going to be just so beautiful to move into this space together. So we're going to turn down our cameras, and we'll turn within. And we'll start this beautiful process together. Yeah. And after, I guess, this process, we like to come back on camera and see you all again. So if you need to run, that's okay. But if you want to hang around at the end to reconnect, that's welcomed as well. We'll just keep everyone on mute through this process um, to ensure no distortions.
Hare Krishna. So close your eyes. Direct your attention to your eyelids. Relax those tiny eye muscles and let them go. And then feel the relaxation moving like a wave slowly downward throughout your body. Relax. Feel yourself turning within. Feel your lungs being filled with air. Feel the air being released. Become conscious of your heart and feel your heart beating in a normal, natural manner. Feeling your heart space truly tuning in, starting to open up. As you tune in now, I'd like you to now invite into your pyramid of light, your workshop of the mind, your inner sacred space, whatever word you give for your inner temple, calling on your spirit guides to really be present with you today, give you the guidance, calling in today the ascended masters, perhaps inviting into your sacred space, whatever word or term you give for that great power out there in the universe, the divine father, mother. Perhaps you're going to call on the angelic realms today, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth dimensional light beings feeling their strength, their guidance, the archangels with their grace and wisdom to be present with us today, perhaps the galactic team, the Pleiadians, Arcturians, Syrians, Andromedans, and the higher levels of consciousness, willing humanity on, observing, guiding, as we navigate the distortions within our planet at this time. Whatever word you give for it all, most importantly now, I'd like every single one of us together now to really set our intention and quite deliberately now, I'd like you to call on source. I'd like you to call on the divine to be present with you and each and every one of us right now, opening up our heart space and tuning our vibration into one another. It is the combined vibration of these higher vibrational souls where we synergize and energize one another. This is where we have our true power, where we are able to really create a change. So feeling into that now. As you feel into this energy starting to move through you, feel it start to clear out of you any negative thought forms, any emotions, worries, stresses, anything which is non-congruent with who you really are, but is merely something you've picked up through your day-to-day -day goings about life here on planet Earth. Let anything which is negative and non-congruent leave your field now. Feel it leaving you as you feel yourself being more and more filled with love and light and high frequency energy. Most importantly, feeling the strength of us, the collective now, breathing that through. Excellent. And as you truly tune into yourself, have this moment where you realize what a gift it is to be alive. What a responsibility each and every one of us have to truly make our life a masterpiece to live with passion, to live with joy, kindness, 
empathy, love, understanding. And as you reflect on your journey so far and you feel these qualities building up inside you now, prepare yourself to be able to then project this out to the collective consciousness of the planet. Feeling now the divine guidance of these high vibrational beings and this energy of love and light and balance moving in and around us now. Using your free will to ask for a boost, ask for some extra strength at this time, any divine words that may be delicately, finely tuned and nuanced to exactly what the planet needs, but unique to you through your own soul song, through the unique vibration of each part and facet of you through your divine DNA and the cosmic guidance that is unique to you as a soul, use that in your own special way so that your gift has a moment. As together now, we feel ourselves building the power chain, the power chain of the collective around the planet and the different countries, the other light workers coming together with their positive intention, the focused heart, brain, and spirit focused towards this positive outcomes, this higher vibrational state, feeling it build within you now as we project our consciousness out around the planet now to the count of one, two, three. Feeling that consciousness now spreading out around the planet. Coming through to you in a way which is unique to you. Perhaps the visuals of the violet flame of you connecting in with the violet flame of the other light workers around the planet now, encircling the planet in love and light and the beautiful strengthening of the crystalline grid, reflecting the higher vibrational states. Perhaps it's a feeling within you. Perhaps you feel it in your heart space as your heart truly opens and sends this love out to the collective consciousness. Perhaps it's a knowing. Perhaps you can almost hear the chorus of angels and higher vibrational beings supporting us. Perhaps it's a divine mix of many of the senses helping you to get a sense of the power of what you're doing. Breathing it through now with the power of the breath. Healing into those souls and sending love and light to those souls who perhaps really need it now, tuning in each and every one of you with your own unique ability to tune this energy to exactly where it needs to go, feeling it move through you. Allow yourself to really move into that strength, taking your strength and your ability to the next level. Feel into how incredibly powerful you really are. as the energy moves through the collective consciousness of the planet, helping the collective consciousness, not just in the Middle East, but realize that what is happening in the Middle East is merely just a reflection of the collective at this time. As Mother Earth has her purge, her shift, realize that Mother Earth Pachamama, Gaia, right at this time, is able to use the energy that you're sending out right now to support herself through the shift and the change during this gift of a time, this time of ascension on planet Earth, the time of the great choosing. I'm going to leave each and every one of you for a few moments now for you to do your divine light work. Do what comes to mind now. 
be guided by your guides, by the energy. And I'll pause for a few moments as you continue your beloved work. as you tune yourself back into this now moment. And I feel into the energies of all the beautiful, beautiful, unique ways in which each and every one of you were guided to support the planet. A lot of support for the planet I felt. The waters, the forests, the oceans, the air. So much support for the individuals, so much love being expressed. Once again, bringing yourself back to how this outward expression of energy that is going on on the planet now resonates within you. Realize that from a higher perspective, everything is for a purpose. You as the light workers, the way showers, we know that these purges are necessary as we support the souls that are directly affected by this at this moment, sending them love and light and peace for those that are paying the sacrifice, for truly believing that they're in line with their heart chakra and their throat chakra in defending their justice, their truth, what they truly believe in. We send them support and love to those souls. We observe and send love and understanding to those souls that are still demonstrating the lower chakra energetic expressions. The hate, the hurt, the mistrust, the acting out, all of it necessary for the collective consciousness on the planet to elevate, for us to move towards fourth dimensional consciousness and truly realize as a collective that we are all one. Feeling this as it affects your own universe, your own life in a day-to-day -day moment once again a reminder to be the light to in your own unique circle be that calming influence that higher perspective that one that has the calming effect on others Feeling yourself now moving your consciousness back towards your country. Your consciousness now moving back towards your hometown, back towards your home itself and feeling this beautiful consciousness of yours, this powerful love, light and high frequency energy moving back now into your mind, body, spirit complex moving back within your beautiful 3D physical vessel. And you should just take a moment to reflect on this coming together, this beautiful mission and feeling yourself back, really making an effort now to ground in and anchor in these energies that you've experienced. Just take your time and return to the camera so that we can 
share the experiences with one another. That was beautiful. Thanks, Pete. Oh, Brother Brant in Colorado and Alyssa could feel those wings just flying around. You guys, love you guys, all the work that you do. You're welcome to unmute yourself, uh, guys. I'm seeing you there. <laughs> oh. Hey, thank you, guys. Thanks for Thanks for setting this up. This is great and this is a beautiful way to to transmute and uh i could definitely feel the alchemy going through the group and the collective too and and what a good activation and and even the the little strands of dna coming online for some people too man this is this is beautiful love you guys we love you thank you thanks for coming thank you for supporting yeah, I was just seeing the pl the planet like was just sending all this spiral light, flicking off any density. It was just like this big kind of cyclone of movement, shifting density. Vivek, how did you go? Let's hear from you, beautiful brother. Yeah, it went well. Uh, this was something that was deep, and uh, I don't know where I went. But then I came back out. Um, it felt very soothing, very calm, and uh, connected. That's 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 how I can describe it. Yeah, loving it so good. Yeah, I felt everyone's. I felt like it was like an umbrella, like all of our souls kind of connected at the top of the umbrella, and like we're intertwined. And yeah, so beautiful. Just sent. Oh, she just went off. I was going to ask Jay how she went, but she's got a. She's obviously gone. Brother Tim, how did you go over in WA, holding and anchoring the light over on the west? Yeah, it was. It was. It was really nice. So uh, I, I saw us in a big circle, holding hands all around the world, with the world in the middle, and the violet flame uh, doing its thing. So yeah, it was. Um, yeah, it was nice. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for organising it. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. It, it truly was um, just in the moment that I knew that each and every one of you would know what to do in your own unique way. So when I was saying now I want each and every one of you to express that love light in your own way, I was getting, and I'm not sure who was doing it, but there were people putting imprints into the waters. Um, I could ha I had people clearing the air. There was things going on in the rainforest. <laughs> and then I was getting some like just focusing on individual souls that were crying out and they were going to them. And I was getting all of these visuals. And some of you know, I don't always get visuals, but you know, when I'm backed up by the power of, let's call it you guys, I was like getting all of these visuals. Um, it's quite emotional. I really... I, um, I had to do my best to keep putting my words together <laughs> um, because it was like uh, a beautiful, beautiful experience. So uh, thank you guys for the opportunity to, to guide you all through it. Oh, there's my friend Blaze. Hello, Blaze, who lives in the, lives in the cabins of Oregon and is a, a massive light worker. Great to have you here and connect. And Army from South Africa who was on the call, Zoe in China. We've got Monica over in Europe in the, um, flying the flag at 1 a.m. Like <laughs> your light workers have stepped up and like I appreciate it. Yeah. Jackie, how did you go? I see you clapping. I always love your smile, Jackie. How are you going there, darling? It was really good. You know, I think sometimes we feel so alienated and alone. And I could just see us these, it's like a firefly. We do you have fireflies? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fireflies 
Texas, <laughs> it's like these little sparks all over and you have to think, well, why are we so far away? Why can't we just all come together, you know? And then when you said that about just the, the purple, that just flood of this lavender divine light just went over and it was just like this soothing lusciousness of just you know just this love and then I can feel all these new faces that I don't know and I'm like oh, you know it's like I cherish them already so it's really quite beautiful hmm. thanks Jackie Thank you so much. beautiful sister well um yeah I guess that was just a oh. beautiful thing I feel like we Cal, should probably do start. more of it. It felt very um, important for us to do this today and it just aligned with the same time as the Galactic Ambassadors Meetup, which is awesome. Yeah, so... And for those of you that are new, mm. we do this every two weeks. I know in America you don't do the... What's the uh, word you can't say? Fortnight? Every fortnight, yeah, that's Australian. you got to say every second week well, or Every second week. Of you guys. <laughs> anyway, it's every second one where we come online and we do the work. And then, of course, I know many of you through the week, of course, Caprice and Jody and a lot of you guys, Tim, etc. a lot of you guys are in meditation, Grant and Alyssa, daily. Jacinta, I know many of you have a daily practice where you go in, you work, yes, for yourself, but for the greater collective as well. And I would um, encourage each and every one of you to, uh, there's guided meditations in the group that you can do when you look back through the history that you can get access to. If you're not good at meditating, we want to help you with that, guide you through that. So, and as you, of course, learn how to help yourself, you can then, of course, be of service to others and to help the collective as well. So all of that is available through this Galactic Ambassadors group as a free gift to you guys who are here and on here. So, We'll spread the word and we'll keep this work up. And listen, I like really appreciate each and every one of you coming on today. So many of these names, Graham and Min, I can't see your face, but I know you're there. Bernie. You guys, Bernie's on, you Scott. know, brother. Bye. So many, so many people yeah. who, you know, you guys are in here and we know, you know, the real ones. I often say that to them, you know who the real ones are. And when you come into their energy, there's like this knowing. Remember, guys, that saying, by their works, you shall know them. By their works. Well, that's what we're doing here. We want to be, we're wanting the, to see happen out there. So be that in the day-to-day -day life. And I know that can be challenging some days rather than others, but that's why we're here, right? To grow and learn as a soul. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, team. And, the, and for those of you watching on, over here on Instagram as well, okay. our first time uh, having... Multiple screens. Multiple screens. <laughs> so I'm just like... I'm balanced so in between the two. Expansion here. <laughs> All right, beautiful yeah, soul. Thank you, you so much for coming. Love thank you, you for all. tuning in and have a beautiful divine day and um, we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Instagram friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, guys. Beautiful souls. Thanks for coming. Yeah, beautiful. See you guys.